So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing the Duck DNS Docker. And so what that does, the Duck DNS uh, basically provides a static name address for our host or for our server when we have a dynamic sort of address from our network. And so basically the Docker will constantly communicate with DuckDNS to make sure the address is updated with DuckDNS so then we can always log into our server. And so if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't or you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified of when we're doing new things. And I just wanted to say uh, today is sort of the start of a series. We're going to be sort of building up in little incremental steps because I found that some of my videos in the past, I've sort of done too much in a video, then people get very confused. So we're going to build up on these videos. So something a little new here. So here we go now. So first thing we're going to do is go to the top right corner. We're going to type DuckDNS. And we're going to click on the Linux server, DuckDNS. And so next what we're going to do is click on the info page. And if we scroll down to supported architectures, you can see that this doctor actually has AMD64, ARM64, and ARM32 version 6. So if you just have an x86 computer, you can just, you don't have to worry about anything. If you have a ARM computer, like a Raspberry Pi, you want to copy this right here and then place the ARM32 uh, name right here. And once you've done that, since this is an x86, I'm not going to do anything, press start. Once that's done, click close. So next what we're going to do is find our PUID and our PGID. So we're going to go to shell in the box, click on web client, log in as root and your password, and then type ID and your username, and then hit one or enter. And so here you can see the UID is 1000 and the GID is 100. So write those things down. Next, we're going to go back to our Docker, click on DuckDNS, click Run Image, type in DuckDNS, Restart Policy Always, leave it in Bridge Mode. We're going to go down to our environmental variables. We're going to type in PUID, and for us, the UID was 1000. Hit the plus sign, PGID, which was the GID which was 100. Yours may be different. Hit the plus sign. If we go back to the DuckDNS tab here, so we have two more things, that, or three more things that we have to put in. So time zones, subdomains, and tokens. So let's do the time zone first. So type in TZ and then your time zone. Hit the plus sign. And then next, if we go back here, we have two things, subdomains. So let's copy those subdomains, put that here. And now what we're going to do is go to DuckDNS. And so you'll find that at DuckDNS.org. You can log in. I'm going to just log in with a Gmail account I created. And so next, what you're going to do is pick a subdomain. And so I already have one here, but what you'll do to find a subdomain is type in something right here and so let's type in patreon since that's right there and add domain and that one's taken so let's try something else and then click add domain and there you can see we added a domain uh, so we're not going to use that one so we're just going to delete that and so next, what we're going to do from this page is use some of these first things. So if we go back to our container, we need our subdomains. So here, our subdomain is let duck. Then hit the plus sign. So next, we need our token. Copy that. And if we go back over to DuckDNS, so our token is right here. 
So we're going to copy that whole thing and we're going to paste it right here. Hit the plus sign. And then finally we're going to hit save. And so then this will automatically update our container or our duck DNS with our current IP address if we're on a dynamic name server. So we're going to click save. And there duck DNS is up. That is a quick and easy way to have a dynamic domain where you can actually point at your server. And so we're going to be using this. Uh, so we're going to be actually doing small little videos for the next couple to uh, catch us up on some things. So then all those small things are going to add into several big videos. If you like this video, make sure you like and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.